hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a cruelty TV YouTuber, thus makeup videos. And today it is time for a tag again and I was tagged by my friend Madeleine, I can leave her up here and down in the description. I don't know if I've done this tag before, <laughs> I looked through my playlist with all the tags I have done, maybe I've missed some. And I couldn't find it, but I don't know, it feels like I should have done this. But this is the eyeshadow palette tag, one of all the eyeshadow palette tags. And this is created by Samantha Marge and Ellie Glines. I will leave both of them down in the description as well. And these are some questions about eyeshadow palettes. And if you know me, I love eyeshadow palettes. and. I want to talk more about my shadow palette, so I'm going to show you some palettes and answer these questions. Why do I complicate things for myself? I'm just doing a tag video. I think you all know what a tag video is, so maybe I should just sip it, but not sip it, but... So I have some palettes in front of me and I'm going to show you them and I'm going to answer some questions. So the first one is all-time favorite palette. And this have changed, and I think this is my chair is squeaking so much. This is one of my, I think this is my all time favorite palette, and it's the <laughs> side by side by Nabla. You must be so sick and tired of me talking about this, and the palette looks like this. I love this palette. This is one of the most used palettes I have in my collection. If I'm doing makeup outside of YouTube, this is what I use the most of the times because it's just so easy. I love the formula on this palette. I love Nabla and I can do so much and it's a really easy palette to play with and I, I just love this one. This is my favorite palette from Nabla. Yeah, it is. It has topped the secret palette. This is my favorite palette from Nabla. I love it so much. And it is just a really good palette. And this is my all time favorite palette. It has become that because this one I can use whenever, for whatever. I just, I love this palette and I recommend it so, so, so much. The next one is a new favorite. And I <laughs> did actually take this one, the Meet Me in the Underworld by Lewis Cosmetics and maybe this isn't um, it's a new new but it looks like this I love the color store of this one and I love like the all over theme on this one and I did a free looks one palette or first I did a first impression and I wasn't like super amazed with this one and then I did the Prelux One palette and I just fell more and more in love with the palette for each and every time I used it. And then I have done one look on my Instagram and then I did one that I didn't film. And I, I just think this is a really good palette. My first impression review, I want to do it all over again because I've changed my mind about this one and I do really love this palette. So this is, yeah, this is a new favorite. And I think she's bringing this back. And uh, yeah, if you have been thinking about buying it, I think you should because it is a really good palette and I do really love this. The next question is a palette that you keep for the memories and uh, it wasn't that long time ago since I did a eyeshadow palette collection. I can leave it up here. It was my first one and yeah. It's one palette that I kept that I haven't used this for so so long but I can't get rid of it. It's Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani. I got this from my boyfriend at Christmas. I did really really want that, wanted this one. I had, I don't know which one came out first, I had a Naked 2 from Urban Decay and I don't know if Naked 3 or this one was first but I had a Naked 2 at least that I know and I did love that one 
and then this came out and I wished for this for Christmas and he got it for me and I didn't really really like it I have used like not all the shadows because this dark down here scared me a little bit back then but like Stork and Anaheim and Blonde and Bath Water and also Pop I have used and I did it I really really like this. I haven't used this for years, but I can't get rid of it because I just remember how happy I was when I got this and Yeah, it was a time when I really did love this palette then an underrated palette and I thought this was hard because I Don't know if I have that many underrated palette, but a palette that I think is one of the best palettes this brand has released I haven't seen many videos on it, I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it, and I think it's a really really good palette. And it's from Ace Bute, and it's the Scarlet Dusk. It feels like this one and Vintage Dawn wasn't that big because people, not many did love Ace Bute back then, but this one this is an amazing formula. This is so so good this palette, but it feels like this palette wasn't Talked about that much and I don't know why Because the shimmers are really good the mattes are really good and I think this is one of the few palettes I have from Ace Bouche where all the shadows are good. I Don't think there is a dud in this one actually it usually is one or two but in this one, no, this is so good. I do really like the color store of this, even though pink is not a super favorite for me. But I think this is underrated and I think more people should talk about this because it's a really, really good palette. Then a palette that is not a favorite, but I can't get rid of. Yves place to say. I, I don't know. It feels like people either not like this one or it's like their favorite palette from US Place. But I, I don't know. I think the formula isn't there on this one and I think the names are completely off and some of the shadows are really hard to work with. It's, it's something about this that it's like it's not the US Place palette. I don't know. This is really different from what they usually do. I agree on that and I I do like this. I did get rid of some of my UVS Place palette, but this got to stay even though it's my least favorite when it comes to my UVS Place palettes. But it's like I, I do like some of these colors. But overall, I do not like this palette, but I won't get rid of it because I do want it in my collection. Why, you might ask? I don't know. But it's just something. I just can't get rid of it. And I don't know why. I did a free looks one palette with this one, I think. And I did struggle in that video. I think I did get out free, like, decent looks. But I did struggle so much. Next up is a favorite collab. And this was so hard because a lot of my friends here on YouTube did collabs last year, but there is one palette that is I mean, okay, all the palettes are amazing, but this one has a special place in my heart. It uh, helped me a lot. In the beginning of last year, I had... I, I'm not going to talk about this, but... It wasn't a good period in my life and this helped me. And it's of course a Club and Nebula from Angelica Nyquist and Kaleidos. Kaleidos is one of my favorite makeup brands, one of my favorite eyeshadow palette brands. And this palette is amazing. It's so easy to play with. It has some really deep colors. It has some really cool like toppers and duochromes and you can do a lot with this one and it's easy to play with and it's just an amazing palette. I do really, really, really love this palette. So this was my favorite collab 
or is my favorite collab I have others that I really do love but it's something about this palette and that is also why it's going to be the answer to the next question which is my favorite palette of 2021 and it is this one it is um, I shouldn't scratch my ear when I'm talking it is a special palette for me it was my favorite last year and I have used this this year, yeah, I do have used it. <laughs> I, I have done one look with this this year. I didn't film it though, but I had it on when I talked about my favorite palettes from last year. And yeah, uh, this was my favorite last year. And it's going to be pretty high this year as well, I guess, because I'm planning on not buying any new eyeshadow palettes this year. I will try. The next one is a palette that I didn't expect to love and it's actually this little one from Nabla. It's the Cutie Palette Platinum and it looks like this. This isn't my favorite color so it wasn't when I bought it and I didn't think that I would love this palette that much but this is one of my favorite palettes from Nabla and this is my favorite Cutie Palette from Nabla as well. I just think this is an amazing six pan palette. It is such a cool color story and even though it's four shimmers and only two mattes, it's a really fun palette to play with and I didn't expect to love this at all. I was like, okay, I think I'm going to like it, but it's not my favorite colors and it's four shimmers, only two mattes, I like more colorful things. But this one does something special to me. I do really love this and I didn't expect to love it at all. I thought this was going to be one of the cute palettes that I would like the least. But it's actually the one that I like the most. The next one is a palette that sparks joy and I always have this palette as an answer when it comes to questions like this. But it's not a palette that I use that much, but it is a palette, when I look at it, I'm happy. So it is of course the Tokyo Harajuku palette from Nomad. This is just so cute and I'm not the cutesy one. The cute things isn't like something that I'm super thrilled about, but this one, okay, it's a cat with a pirate patch. And the palette looks like this. This is not the easiest palette to play with, but it's fun to play with. And I think this is a good palette if you want like a pop of color, just something small, or if you just want a really cool like duochrome over something as a topper or as an inner corner highlight. And this, I'm just happy. It's often it's more time that I just look at this palette and actually use it. I've done the free looks one palette with it. Yeah. It wasn't the easiest free looks one palette I have ever done, but it's just it's just such a cute little palette and it sparks joy to me and I always have it on my table so I can look at it even though I'm not using it. I don't know. Maybe this is a palette that I should use more. Maybe for just a little pop, I don't know, but I want to use this more this year. I'm going to use it more this year. Then we have my newest palette in my collection. And uh, this palette I got this year. I got this from Madeleine. Actually, that tagged me and I'm so thankful. I didn't know that I was getting this palette. And thank you, Madeleine. I, I was so happy when I opened the package. And it is from Unique Beauty and it's the Bubble Time and it's a cute little six, six, pen, palette. six pen palette that is green and bluish and gold. Yeah, that was like six different colors. I haven't used this yet. Um, I want to have a good day when I'm using this because I want to give it... Yeah, I don't know. I want to be happy when I use it, but this is my newest palette and I got this from Madeleine, so thank you so much Madeleine. You didn't have to, but I'm so happy that you got me this one. 
I haven't tested Unique Beauty and uh, yeah, it's going to be fun to use this to see uh, what I think about this. So yeah, this is my newest palette. And the last question is the first palette I used 2022 and I think it must be this one. I think I used this the first or the second. I can't remember but it must be this palette. And it is the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. That looks like this. I have done a Get Ready With Me two Get Ready With Me's. Have you seen both of them? I think so. I have used this two times. I'm not convinced yet. Am I going in there? I don't know. But uh, I have this. I'm going to keep using it because it was expensive. And yeah, this was the first palette I used this year. And we will see where me and Natasha will go. I don't think we will be best friends, but maybe friends at least. I don't know. We will see. And yeah, that was all for this tag questions. This tag, it was all for this tag. Thank you so much, Madeleine, for tagging me. And don't forget to check out Madeleine and also Ali and Samantha that has done this tag. And if I can find, if I have done this tag before, it feels like I should have done it. It feels like I should have done it once. I just need to find it then. But if I find it, it will be linked in the description and it will be fun to see what I did answer if I have ever done it. Okay, yeah, I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!